So what brings me, my granddaughter, to watch the mighty Aston Villa on my niece's wedding day? Why are we in trouble? The story started over 40 years ago. Of course, football fans don't live their lives in years. They live them in seasons. And the 1980-81 to 81 season was about to start. Let me in. I need to listen to my lucky radio. There's no such thing. Listen to it downstairs like a normal person. To go home! Two minutes past three, and our first goal of the season is at Elland Road, where the Villa have gone 1-0 down. Oh. Unfortunately for Jonathan, life wasn't just about the Villa. There were the ill-timed interruptions, like the family holiday to Bournemouth, and the new school year. Is this yours? Uh, yeah. Pathetic. But you can't name ten other songs. I bet I can. Go on then. Uh, but Mamma Mia, Dancing Queen. Don't do that. Sorry. <laughs> My hand slipped. What's the weirdo looking at? Don't know. Don't care. Hi, Jonathan. Oh, uh, hi. You got back from Bournemouth all right then? <laughs> yeah. Right, well, I'll leave you to it. I just hope you're better at this than air hockey. What's she talking about? We had a game of air hockey. When? On holiday. What? You went on holiday together? No, 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 no. we met there. By accident. In Bournemouth? Yeah, of course you did. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm a season ticket holder. Really? You like football? But you're a girl. So you have noticed. Stadler, it's the 1980s. Girls can like football too? Yeah, of course, but surely you don't go on your own or stand in the halt end. There's no girls box, are there? No, stupid. I go with my dad. The new North Stand? Ah, yeah. OK. Well, I'll probably see you at the ground sometime then. Yeah, you can buy me a pie. <laughs> I'm kidding. Fortunately, away from school, Jonathan could spend time with his beloved granddad, Jack, and his neighbour, Randy. Come on then, Randy. Tell us why you follow the villa. From his armchair, mind. <laughs> you see, Randy there built Spaghetti Junction, all on his own, his own hand. Really? Yeah. No. I had a wheelbarrow. Only joking. I was part of the crew. Well, sometimes when we worked nights and there was a game on, I'd see the floodlights and hear the roar of the crowd, and I'd think to myself, that must be some team. Wow. Tell him about the time Pele went to Villa Park. The Pele? Best player in the world, Pele? The very same. Villa played Santos, 1972. I was moving cones to let the players' cars in. And he spoke to me. What did he say? He said, boy you, get out my way. <laughs> He waved at me and he said, thank you. I'd have got an autograph. If he'd asked, I would have given him one. Let us take you back to the glory days of football when any team could win the league and some goals would be seen only by the select few in the stadium. It was a time when a team could become champions with just 14 players. 
and it was a glorious time in this boy's life as he discovers pain, heartache, love and the confirmation that dreams can come true.